here we are on the infamous ride to the airport it's gonna be so much fun we are we are actually not moving right now so this is the safest point in my life what are you eating there Oh my gosh, popsicles. I like popsicles. Remind me sometime to tell you about the popsicle word of knowledge from Sweden. You remember that? Yep. Amen. The infamous ride to the airport, you never know what's gonna happen. getting into Atlanta and there's a lot a lot a lot a lot of traffic so we're here for the launch of Awakening House of Prayer. I'm going to be on Atlanta live tonight. I should bring you on with me. <laughs> I should bring her on with me but I'm not sure. You're going to go with us on a journey through Atlanta, Awakening House of Prayer, Atlanta, Perth, Mississippi and of course the original home base in South Florida. Check it out. Launch night. Actually tomorrow is launch night. TV night. Tomorrow is last night. Say hello, Prophet Vanessa. Hello. Here we are, WAC TV. The sun is bright. We're going in. We're going in. So we just wrapped up here at Atlanta Live. Had the opportunity to meet Dr. Cindy Trim. A real thrill. Tremendous woman of God. Hope, warfare, you name it. She's got a word for now. Check out her new book, Hello Tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna go now, I think, and grab uh, some dinner. What are you thinking about? Food, she's thinking about food. Yes. So we're gonna see you on the other side. Late night, well, for me it's late. You get up at three in the morning, seven o'clock is late. I'm trying to find the hotel, we're entering into downtown right now. Oh my gosh, this camera is out of focus. Oh my gosh, that was the best breakfast I've ever had in my life. Listen, it, Robert Vanessa, tell them how good it was. It was delicious. She's occupied. It was the best breakfast I've ever had in my life. It was so good I forgot to even show you what I was eating. Scrambled eggs, spicy collard greens with onions and cheese, bacon on the inside. I'm telling you, this is blurry. Can you see me out there? Blurry, blurry, blurry. Hello. There we go. It was the best breakfast ever. Creamy, what were those? Grits, creamy, creamy grits. Flying Biscuit, Midtown Atlanta. I don't even want to share this secret with you, but you're my friends. Flying Biscuit. Could eat the biscuits because they're not gluten-free. Flying Biscuit, Midtown Atlanta. Give them a shout out, Prophet. Flying Biscuit. <laughs> it was Yummy. It was yummy. The Flying Biscuit Cafe. Yes, and you see, she's very distracted by many things. Oh, Martha, Martha. Oh, boy. We're going to pick up Stidham from the airport. Just shortly, we've got the Atlanta launch today. We can ask for Atlanta. It's going to be good. So it's going to be good, Prophet. It's going to be good. Jesus dragged in. Hey, 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 what's up guys? The one, the only apostle, Jonathan Stidham, a man of honor, great grace, power, and authority. We, uh, he has graciously uh, come to our Awakening House of Prayer Atlanta launch. They'll be spending some time with us in South Florida, helping us to, to shore up the foundations as we move into the new facility. He's got a phenomenal ministry, jonathanstidham.com. Spell it right. S-T-I-D-H-A-M. Amen. Go check it out. Phenomenal man of God. So, we will track with you through this launch. Pray for this new plant in Atlanta. It's going to be powerful. I feel revival. 
All right, we're moments away from the Atlanta House of Prayer launch going strong. I mean, this is going to blow up. I feel the wind of God on this launch. We've been plowing in South Florida. I want to tell you a word about launch. Look, whatever the Lord has called you to launch, you do it with all your might. You do it with wisdom and a strategy from the Lord. Your wisdom does not compare to the Lord's wisdom. Whatever you've learned in school or whatever you've learned from life, those are good things. But God's wisdom is higher than our wisdom. So whatever God has called you to launch in this season, be sure not to get ahead of him. Don't lag behind him. Listen, we're in a season of urgency. God is wanting to pour out blessings that you can't contain, but you must be prepared for your own launch. That means spending more time with him, getting in the word, getting in the spirit, getting into prayer, ascending in the glory at a different uh, dimension. You must press in this season, a season of urgency and a season of forthcoming launches and unveilings in Jesus' name. We're going to the Love it, love it, love it. 